Hello, this is Manny Papamanos with the Autodesk Stingray Group here in Montreal. Um, here I'm going to present you a project I did during a few Hack Day sessions here. And uh, basically what we're going to look at is the lighting that I've made with this particular project that was made from scratch actually. And uh, yeah, we'll look at the lighting and the different concepts and how it works in real time. This is a project meant to run on VR. So uh, one thing's for sure, I had to make sure that all the elements are uh, very low poly as much as possible. And at the same time, they have to kind of look, uh, you know, kind of refined. As you can see, uh, there's only one, two, three, four edges here most likely. Uh, so things, although they look kind of complex, they're actually pretty uh, low poly at the end, and that's important. Notice that the uh, level orbit, I can orbit around in the level pretty much in real time. It might not be look like it's uh, without lag to you guys, but there's really no lag. Um, if you see lag, it's because of the uh, recording. And um, yeah, so let's take a look at the lighting. As far as uh, lighting goes, I was used to um, rendering my my frames uh, back in the day uh, using Softimage and Maya and uh, lighting in um, environment uh, real-time environments as such is very it's it's different. Um, reflections are different. The actual lighting, uh, you need to understand the different uh, concepts. And as far as I know, there's basically three. Uh, principles uh, or uh, or elements to understand it's the reflection probe uh, the actual lights and basically the baking that happens at the end so let's start with reflect reflection probes um, yeah because um, unlike uh, what I used to use mental ray and the Arnold and a little bit of redshift before it's not the same at all uh, there's no ray tracing involved here uh, the reflections are basically, uh, they function through this reflection probe. So essentially what we're doing with this probe, you can call a probe from here, helpers, reflection probe, you can just call one anywhere you want in your project. In this uh, instance, I decided to just use one probe. I didn't really feel the need to use more than one, but a lot of times you'll see two or three in a particular level like this. Um, especially if you have several rooms then you'll have a lot of probes that's for sure and how they work is fairly simple all it is really is a, a cubic map that's, that's associated with this probe when you do a window lighting bake reflection probes and basically that creates a cubic, cubic map under the hood and essentially every object that has reflection in it will basically use that cube map which was reflect, uh, created by the probe and basically according to the angle will project it onto its uh, UV and basically make it look like it's mapped there. So if we select something like that's really shiny we'll basically see it uh, sh the, the reflection shifting in there. We even see it on the wall. Yeah, so that's basically how uh, reflection probes work. We'll see those in depth on the next tutorial where I'm going to basically use a basic template to uh, show you how stuff works. And uh, yeah, the next con uh, um, thing to look at is lights. So these are lights. I'm using uh, a row of lights here. These are spotlights. So for lights, you call them from here on the Create tab, click on Lights, and basically a physical and light. Um, I suggest you don't use light uh, that will get deprecated soon I'm pretty sure because uh, physical lights do pretty much everything that light does and um, even more so just use physical light and how does this work yeah basically I have a row of those spotlights here Whoop. I just set a reflection probe there so yeah I got a few spotlights here and a few of them here so essentially those are illuminating the interior good and what's special about these lights is if I remember correctly if I move one you'll notice its effect shining on the wall right so that tells me that that light is set only to indirect it's a spotlight if we look at the property manager here it's set to indirect and what does that mean uh, you can dynamically move the light and you'll see its effect 
uh, shining on the elements. Okay, um, the drawback is that you'll only get one bounce uh, when you're baking. So you got to use those uh, strategically, and I'll show you uh, the exact reason why I use those lights on the next uh, tutorial. And let's look at the light that's inside there. This is okay. Notice that if I move it, there's no effect on the wall because its effect, because it's set to direct and indirect, its effect has been completely baked onto the wall. So uh, what you're seeing here, if I move this light, is basically this light was used to be here, right? Uh, basically, its effect has been baked onto the wall and uh, whatever object is uh, uh, around it. Um, so, this light is also using an IES profile. IES profiles are basically uh, made by manufacturers, uh, lighting man manufacturers that, that make actual physical lights uh, to basically... Uh, um, their files which basically give us the profile of their actual light so what you're seeing here this halo is actually coming from that uh, IES uh, profile okay and you can get those online you can get those IES profiles online and we'll look at that in depth on the next tutorial and basically as you can see here its effect has been baked to the well uh, to uh, uh, to all the elements um, completely so basically what that means when you're baking is that every element uh, including the chairs pretty much everything has a second set of UVs the second set is used by the baker uh, to basically create a map so basically the wall has uh, a separate map other than its texture file uh, has a, a separate map which basically has the effect of this light in it and that's how it's uh, seems like the light is shining but it's really just a map under the hood so we'll look at that in depth uh, anything else to look for this particular project we'll also look at uh, the environment how to create a sky how to modify your sky dome map so it can work with your reflection probe that's um, for sure we'll look at that and I think that's it uh, apart from the baking that we'll look on the next tutorial and uh, we'll call it a wrap here and we'll create another tutorial using the basic template. Cheers.